Good day, folks. Today we're looking at uh, the pop can stove. It's a great little invention, great for an emergency use if you had a power outage. You'd still be able to use this little device and be able to make a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, possibly fry a few eggs or something, or maybe warm up a, a can of soup maybe or something. So in times of the winter especially, when the power outages do occur, be nice to have something warm in your belly. The pop can stove is ideally suited for this type of a uh, use. It burns methyl hydrate. Methyl hydrate is 100% pure alcohol and it burns really really clean. It's used for gas line antifreeze, also used for fondue fuel, for fondue sets and so on. So suitable but you can burn it inside with no fumes. I wouldn't recommend isopropyl alcohol. That will give you fumes. I've had that uh, experience once, uh, black soot. So I wouldn't recommend using the isopropyl alcohol. But get methyl hydrate at your local store, uh, hardware store or paint shop or any place like that. And uh, they should have methyl hydrate. It's just a pure alcohol. Now, the traditional way of making these is like this. You just get two bottoms, you invert one into the other one, push down, and all of a sudden you have a stove. They usually put the holes around the outside, like you see here. I've come up with, a, I believe, an improved design in that instead of pushing it your top down this way, turn it around and do it this way. And it uh, will prevent it from going down all the way. We just cut a little strip from the can and poke down in there and that'll prevent this from going down all the way so then when this goes down inside then you're left with a little well that holds a small bit of alcohol around where your burners are and this helps the alcohol warm up and of course as it warms up it more readily evaporates the alcohol by itself won't burn it has to evaporate and mix with air to get it to burn. So I believe this is a much better uh, way of uh, doing this. Seems to have a better start up time but I'll let you uh, have a look and you'll be the judge for yourself. This is cut from an old pop can. You can use a beer can or whatever even though this one says birch beer. <laughs> I think it might be only available in Newfoundland, not sure. But um, in any event, birch beer does not contain any alcohol. It's just a soft drink, just a soda pop type drink. But uh, in any event, that's the can that I'm using. For those who are familiar with bir birch beer, they'll uh, they'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> For those of you who've never heard tell of it, well, it's a, it's a Newfoundland type thing, I guess. Anyway, we'll light these up now. This one uh, I find is a little bit hard to light this type. And this one here lights readily. Now there's a job for you to see that both of these are going so I'll just tip the lamp away for a little bit and you can see them starting up. The one on the left is the traditional uh, design. Some people call this the, the penny stove. I uh, see one, uh, one fellow called it an Arizona penny stove whereby they'll put a penny in the center where the fill hole is to and use that to cover the fill hole while it's burning. However, I use a screw. I'm putting a screw in there and uh, that does the same job. Pennies are uh, no longer exist in, in Canada. <laughs> uh, they've outlawed the penny. Anyway, it takes a few minutes for these guys to fully get going. Either one of them works great. I've used both types. At first I made the one on the left and then eventually uh, modified design a little bit and came up with the design on the right. So it's a great little emergency thing. I've used this several times when the power was gone and I was able to uh, get something warm in everybody's belly and that's a good thing in the winter if your power goes out. <laughs> now some of you might have propane stoves and to look at that stuff that's not really I guess you can use it indoors but you'd have to be wary. And certainly you would have to indeed to be extremely careful with this. This is an open flame and the uh, fuel that I'm using, the methyl hydrate, is extremely flammable. 
So you have to be careful. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want anybody to burn their house down as a result of uh, trying to make a pop can stove. But in any event, you can see that uh, the both of these guys are going uh, full bore. It looks like the one on the left is actually uh, outperforming the one on the right. The one on the left holds about 50% more fuel than the one on the right, than the improved design. And uh, it has about 50% more holes in it. And uh, I've timed these. They each run roughly about the same time, believe it or not. Each will run about 20 to 22 minutes. So I'll give you enough time to boil a, uh, a couple of cups of water to get something hot down there, or warm up a can of soup, or fry a few eggs or something, or you'd certainly be able to come up with something in regards of an emergency situation where, you know, it would be uh, nothing else if you only have electric-powered uh, ways of cooking. Like most people nowadays, especially around here, that there are a few people, I guess, got propane stoves, but for the most part, a lot of people have electric stove. And, of course, if your power is gone, well, your electric stove won't work. And, uh, you know, certainly your electric heat don't work either, so. The one on the left is going great guns. The one on the right seems to be uh, a little uh, more sluggish taken off. But now the one on the right only has eight holes. And I believe the one on the left has 12. Either one uh, would do you. It looks like the one on the left is probably the better design. Although uh, I'm kind of favoring the one on the right personally. I'm, I'm a little bit biased. Either one of these designs will work fine, once again, in an emergency situation. Be extremely careful. You're dealing with an open flame and you're dealing with uh, flammable materials. So uh, don't cause any unnecessary, unwanted fires. Be extremely careful with this stuff. Lay it on something. I got this laid on a piece of Newfoundland slate. I lay it on something that's not going to burn and, and so on. Like, you know, be be extremely careful. Now they're starting to, wear, to uh, warm up. It takes a couple minutes for them to get going. By the time the, uh, the stove warms up a bit and the alcohol starts to readily evaporate, then you get a, uh, a good uh, flame going. So starting off is a little bit sputtery, I don't know if you noticed that about the one on the left. But it uh, looks like it's going pretty good there now. Whereas the one on the right is still not uh, completely uh, going yet, it's still in warm up. Now my previous experiment with this showed me that the one on the right was warming up faster. So now, <laughs> now it looks like uh, I might have to try this uh, experiment uh, several more times before I actually uh, get what's going on. But once again, it's a great little uh, invention. I'm not sure originally came up with the idea, but whoever it was, uh, they had their thinking cap on for sure. It's just two pop cans. Uh, they do have a returnable value. I believe you can get something like 10 cents each for them now, or 5 cents each, or whatever it is. Yeah, I think it's 5 cents. So. You can, uh, for the cost of 10 cents, <laughs> and a little bit of time with the scissors to cut it up and uh, poke these holes with an awl. That's what I use. I suppose you could drill them if you wanted to, but uh, you know, what's the point of that? You can just poke them with an awl. This stuff is really, really thin, you know. But uh, very easily done. You press this down with a uh, piece of board. I find it's pretty good. Try to keep an even pressure on all sides piece of wood or something over it and you'll be able to uh, push it down right even. The one on the right now is starting to uh, get going. You can see the individual flames uh, coming out from the burners. It takes a, a while for it to get going until it reaches up to its uh, operating temperature where the alcohol readily evaporates. But uh, once it gets going well, I tell you, there's no trouble to uh, cook a quick meal. Now, you wouldn't be able to boil uh, a dinner that would take a couple of hours or so, unless you had a couple of these and put them in in tandem, maybe, or something like that. Be careful refilling these if they've burned out. Make sure that they've cooled down completely. And being aluminum, it will cool down pretty quick. Now, 
Great stuff is a uh, wonderful little thing for emergency use. Or some people take them off backpacking too. Some people take them off backpacking in the woods and hiking and so on and so forth. It's a uh, lightweight, you know, you fit right in your pocket. Easy way to carry a stove. You could have a small bottle with the alcohol. You wouldn't necessarily have to bring a gallon with you, <laughs> you know. But uh, a small bottle with some alcohol. And, uh, boy, it's, it's a quick stove. And I've heard a funny story that I won't relay here. But uh, it's a quick stove for you to boil up. And, and there's a places, too, where you're not allowed to uh, start any fires. Uh, with wood, say, for instance. If you're not allowed to use the existing uh, wood around you to start a fire. Well... This would be uh, great for that purpose because uh, you're not burning anything, it's clean, it don't leave no smoke or nothing like that. It's uh, wonderful, clean, quiet, and of course, easy to put out. All you'd have to do is, I got an old uh, Pringles can here, look. And just smother that out for a sec. Oops, going to take a little longer than a sec, I guess, before it burns all the oxygen in the tube. There you go. It should be extinguished. Nope. Must be a lot of air into that one. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little video on, on the pop can emergency stove. I've used it several times. Got me out of a jam. Got something warm in everybody's belly. And uh, good stuff indeed. Nothing worse than being cold and hungry. <laughs> and then trying to eat cold food. Uh, while you're cold, you're not going to get very warm. Anyway, for uh, for the sake of uh, a recycled pop can, you know, you can uh, have something for an emergency use on hand. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.